All right, you guys. Jason and I got up before everyone, and it's only like 9.30. <laughs> but I kind of want to show you the chaos after that party. I haven't put anything away, and Jason is starting to clean out the fridge. That problem we had with the fridge the other night with Abby's, I think it was Abby's party. Um, we did, I don't know if we even ended the day. I haven't edited that video yet. I don't even know if I ended the day of that whole fiasco because it just kind of got stressful. So our fridge is needing, is it in the fridge or is it in the freezer? No, it's the fridge iced up. Some okay, so there's a section of the fridge that's iced up. So I'll show you in a second what Jason's doing. He's having to take everything out of the fridge and we're gonna have to get a blow dryer, which I don't even have one. I don't blow dryer my hair, so I've gotta borrow one, which is, I'm gonna go do my hair right now. But, um, so he's doing that, and then I've got party decorations and all that kind of stuff left over. Let me just show you, this is not like real life. I think people like to see my real life, like be honest, and it's a little chaotic right now, and I'll show you. So we have benches in my front room, because <laughs> I brought them in during the rain yesterday, dried them off, and then I didn't have Jason here to help me carry them up. The girls, I think, were just nervous. They didn't want to like bang the walls, which I'm kind of glad. They're pretty heavy, you have to lift them high. And then, we still have Abby's, I think they could have, but they were just nervous about it. I still have Abby's hooray sign sitting here. I've been meaning to take a picture of it to offer up on our Buy Nothing site on Facebook. We were playing my video off of this onto the TV instead of the projector. I got the projector working, but we didn't actually stay outside. And then here's all my decorations and all this jazz from last night. I even have the crock pot that we had the meat in. It's a jar of water that left over from the beach one day and I just figured I'd fill up with one of my water bottles. So he's clearing out the fridge, like things like this that don't need to go into the other fridge. He's just putting into bags, which is nice. But here, let's turn on the light. Um, it's underneath this that we're finding water. This is the tray that goes where we put all our yogurts and stuff in. So that's where all the problem is. So he's kind of clearing it out. It's down under here. We're still getting water back in here. You can actually see. It's this panel back here behind this panel, something yeah. the line is frozen. So now it's dripping down, down in. Yeah. So. We we looked it up on YouTube, right? Yeah. Figured out how to solve the problem, and they said that this problem is something that happens with the Samsung fridges six years. six years. Yeah. And that's exactly how long we've had this fridge. So it's a little daunting to have to like take everything out, but that's what we're doing this morning. All right, then what we're gonna do and why I'm up and dressed a little bit early is we're gonna, we've got an overcast morning left over from the rain yesterday. And then it's gonna warm up this afternoon to like 73, 74. That's Seattle for you. We're kind of closing in on summer but we're gonna go and get our back to school photos taken. Um, we always go to the same spot down by the train station and it's super fun, the kids are looking forward to it. I'm hoping they still have a positive attitude about it this morning. <laughs> they've been talking about it all week and literally I have had their clothes laid out here all week long and they've been, they've been so excited about it. So let me show you what they're gonna wear just as a little sneak peek and then we're gonna go, um, as soon as they get up and get ready to go, we're gonna go down before the sun comes out because this is the best light right now with an overcast. Um, and that's always our biggest problem is squinty eyes. So if I can convince him to hurry and go, ice cream might be involved. And that also includes the husband. <laughs> it's actually his idea. All right, so they look a little plain on, but or on the couch here, but they're gonna look cute on. Abby will wear some jewelry and that kind of stuff, and it'll look better on. But Kaylee has this light blue, like thermal shirt, long sleeve. Um, and she's gonna tuck it into the front of her jeans. They're into this whole ripped jean thing. They've been kind of doing their own ripping. And then Abby has this cute shirt. Kaylee's shirt is from, oh, Target. And then I don't remember where we got her jeans from. And then Abby's shirt is from Abercrombie Kids. This is where we went for her birthday and got her this cute little outfit. And she's been slowly working at her little rips in her jeans. And then Chelsea got her shirt at Justice, and then the jeans that we got at Gap, Kids Gap. She's kind of not wanting to put jeans on, but I think it's cold enough outside that 
we'll convince her to do that. And then Ashley's outfit, I haven't showed this because we didn't film the day we went to this, the mall and got this outfit. I kind of splurged. I was just going to get this shirt at Zara because it was only $5, but I mean, the last child syndrome because this is, you're going to die when you see this on Ashley. It is so stinking cute. The jacket was $27, which isn't expensive for a jacket, but jackets for me need to have hoods here in Seattle. And it's not really like weatherproof. So it's more of a sweatshirt, but it's super cute. So they all kind of coordinate, but not super matchy-matchy. They do not like to be matchy-matchy. In fact, all of them made sure that their jean color was not the same. Because <laughs> they don't like to even be close. But that'll look good. And then I brought down my shirt that I was going to wear, and I realized that it's like so not matching anything. So, I don't know might change mine a little bit. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's, do you have it? Oh, do you want some milk on it? Okay, I'll get you a drink of milk. <laughs> Stuff like this really stresses me out. Okay, the fridge is completely taken apart. We've had to move everything over from the counter, which has led to me cleaning out the soap containers, washing off all the soap containers. Um, this is filled with rust right there. So now I feel like I need to replace this. And the fridge is pulled out from there. He's gonna turn it off any minute now. I can take out the old yogurt. Um, he's gonna take this and turn the fridge off. And then he's gotta take this whole panel off. I think he's gonna have to get a screwdriver to pull this whole panel off because that's where it's freezing behind. You can actually kind of see the ice back in there and then it's dripping down through the panels and into this bottom drawer. So, but we gotta move quick because if you're turning off the whole fridge, then we left everything in the freezer. So, meanwhile, I'm trying to stay cool. I didn't mean to do my makeup before we did this. We were supposed to do this after we got home from pictures, but it makes sense to do it now and it's fine. You can do this while the kids are all getting ready to go. Do you know where the milk went? Yeah, out in the other fridge. So, those are, he was smart. He did all the condiments in little bins and we actually got rid of ones that were moldy. He had some salsa, we should have showed you. It was white mold. So we got everything kind of staged in this fridge. Luckily we have this fridge so that we can get the other one cleaned out. I didn't want to move the freezer stuff because there's not as much room in this freezer. So we just got stuff put down here. Make shift until we can get the other one cleaned out. So I've been doing hair and Jason just got this whole panel off and he's it's filled with ice. Oh this oh wow. Yeah, it's just ice stuff. Careful that phone you still needs. You just need to let no, it like I'm just gonna let it sit here. air out. Yeah. Sorry, I was recording but it wasn't aimed right. So he was just blowing it and drying it, it just, and it just kinda I was trying to get air underneath it because I could see water drip drip drip. And yeah. And then it just sort of popped off. And Good. there was an ice chunk up by the one screw. Yeah, also over there. So actually this looks really good. We were watching a tutorial of this guy, well he's not even like a refrigerator, me refrigerator mechanic, but his coils were all completely frozen over. So actually ours is really, really good. Yeah, it's not bad. There is wasn't much. In? Yeah. Um, we can even just, I mean ours looks way better than his did, so. I think it's good and plus I cleaned out that little canal right down there. Yeah, um, I think you caught it just in time because his whole eye, his whole coil was like completely frozen over. Yeah. It took him like another half hour just to the There was thaw a out. chunk of ice up here, but I blasted that out. So this has now become a tutorial on how to fix a Samsung refrigerator. Refrigerator. I don't know why I keep saying it refrigerator. 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 Yeah. Okay. We can make it its own video and put it on Saturday. No, thank you. Because it's not a true tutorial. And I'm, look, I'm still like trying to do my hair. Okay, so now I've got um, kids. Chelsea, come on, let's go. Um, got kids doing hair. I've got a fan set up in the bathroom because I'm just like doing my hair and it's getting hot in here. It's just kind of muggy outside. Chelsea, it's your turn for hair. 
So you can see that my hair, I guess I'm, it's just, I've only done this top layer on this side and the rest underneath it is still, I get like main hair. <laughs> Chelsea's not coming on, I'm gonna straighten my hair up. Oh, so we're just doing hair and then we're gonna get ready to go. As soon as we're ready to go, Jason will stop what he's doing, but he doesn't need to do anything to get ready to go. Okay, so I'll show you how to put it back together here because we got it all thawed out and so there's some clips. We have to reinstall some uh, power clips here and then just do a few screws and stuff down here. Otherwise it goes together pretty well. So I'll try to see if I can set this up to where you can uh, see what I'm doing. So the first thing is to get these um, attachments back in. Easy enough. Then fish this around somehow. Oh, up oh, higher, higher. Mm, so there are some little triangle tabs that come down the sides. So you gotta get those in place. And then all we have to do are the little screws on the bottom. I'll probably check those by hand just to uh, do it gentle because you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so we got the panels back in there. Panels in here. Uh, I'll edit it so the screws go in the right way. And now we just have to put the shelves in. I'm gonna clean up a few crumbs, but we defrosted it faster than I expected, so that's cool. Um, hopefully we don't have to do this for another six years. All right, we are all done up. I kinda wanna make to get to the park to kinda give you the reveal of all the kids. Do you guys wanna show what you look like now or at the park? at the park. And we have a special guest as a teenage motivation. The one and the only Evelyn. Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted her to come along. One, she hasn't done photos like this before, like for back to school. Probably since she was a little kiddo. And it helps motivate the other kids to have a friend come along, I don't mind. So we are ready to go. Thanks for watching Jason get the fridge all cleaned out and fixed. That probably cost us, I don't know, what, a couple hundred dollars in like labor for having a mechanic come do that. Or a brand new fridge if we just were people that like didn't want to deal with trying to fix things. So, and we aren't those people. So let's go to the park and get our back to school photos done. to pass I want it to start now start now I want this feeling to last keep it alive now right now it's been I'm trying not to smile
All right, <laughs> photo sessions are fun. Right guys, they're fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn got to see a different side of her family than she's ever seen before. She's super. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not always fun taking photos. So we are taking them to Red Robin as a reward for bearing with mom and the camera and <laughs> Evelyn for dealing with our whole family. <laughs> right, Evelyn? Yeah. Yeah, I'm treating her to lunch too, so. <laughs> All right, we dropped off our kids. They are happy now that they're fed and they're not getting their pictures taken. They don't know that I, I'm pretty sure I got enough footage to do our new intro that I'm gonna include with each new video, each day video, just to kind of like introduce the family really quick and the channel. Um, so they don't know that I actually caught footage of that. So I'm really excited to kind of edit that. You'll see that I'll do a little short you know, video maybe on Saturday, I'll upload just our new intro and then I'll start including it in our daily videos. Um, and that's just for new people that are joining our channel and getting to know us. Um, but we are at the bank right now. Unfortunately, a year ago, I set up a new checking account <laughs> for my YouTube account, like my YouTube business. So and then YouTube starts screwing everything up. Yeah, and so I have not done well in terms of how much I make and it's not any it's not not lucrative to have this checking account anymore because I have fees that are attached to it that I thought wouldn't be in existence if depending on the balance in the account and the rate I, we were going before it would have been worth it would have been fine it's not having any more so I just got paid from YouTube yesterday and I'm just gonna cash all that money out and we're gonna go to Costco and we're gonna do a, a little bit bigger of a Costco haul I don't normally do like shampoo and conditioner um, bathroom supplies from Costco just because we've had a weird five years where we haven't had to buy that kind of stuff and then before that I couponed and I stock up on that kind of stuff a different way Stocked up like crazy on that I'm gonna stuff. do better about that someone mentioned they wanted to see how I save money so I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a challenge this school year to take some more time and effort to do some more couponing not necessarily couponing but really watching the sales at least and stocking up when I'm buying one thing of detergent, I'm gonna buy five if it goes on sale, that kind of thing. So that's my challenge to myself. But we're not gonna film, we're gonna film our Costco haul, but we're not gonna include it in today's video just because I kinda wanted to dedicate today's video to their back to school photos. We'll continue filming the rest of the day if we do anything fun, we'll include it here. Um, but if you wanna see our Costco haul, it's gonna be a little bit of a different one so you can hang out and join the channel and get an alert if you hit the notification button and you can see that tomorrow. So we were gonna go to the bank really quick and then we'll head to Costco and continue our day. And he's here for the ride because it's Thursday and he's off and I take advantage of him coming to Costco with me. You like going to Costco. No, I know. Costco's like our date. It is. That's what happens when you're married. And, we, and our anniversary is in two days. Oh yeah, our anniversary. So we're not going above and beyond for anniversary. Um, we're not going above. No, we're just not. We're not like doing anything fancy special. Uh, we're, I'm kind of waiting until I get my braces off. I find out next week if I can take them off. I'm actually going to tell them to take them off. Cause this it's is not, turning into car talk. It is car talk. Because we don't have kids in the car. And it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. So, anyway. La -di da Let's continue. So here's a little tidbit about Jason. When he sees all the samples, right? Does he offer to get one for me? No. He had his. He walked over to me. He went to bite it. Oh, did you want one? No, he never ever gets me one. He'll ask the kids if they want one. He never ever offers if I want one. Just saying. You're not gonna help me. What did you thing. get? I have my popcorn. I've been out for like two weeks. So, if I get my braces off, this is even better. <laughs> All right, so we just finished at Costco. Oh, 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 I need to not film when he's going around corners. 
just get on a road that perpetually goes straight. Okay, because those exist. So we're done at Costco. I'm super hot. Ooh, it's good here in the shade and the air conditioning on. <laughs> I want my hair pulled up so bad. We have a whole car load back there. Uh, if you want to see our Costco haul, you're going to stick around till tomorrow, like we said. We're going to do a separate video with just the Costco stuff. That's it. It's already 5.20. We were going to make lasagna tonight for dinner. It's too hot for lasagna. So we got um, some Hawaiian rolls. I think we'll just oh, make some sliders. Oh, it's a great recipe. Yeah. Great recipe. We'll just make some Hawaiian sliders with ham and cheese and have some Hawaiian chips rolls. or potatoes. I don't know. Maybe we'll just make... So a side dish salad. No. Oh my gosh, I've been having cereal for dinner too often to like admit here. So, um, I know that Chelsea and Ashley went to play with a friend. Abby was babysitting them, um, and they had friends come and get them. And then Kaylee is obviously off with Evelyn hanging out with her. So Abby's just alone at home. And I don't, I don't have any more plans for the rest of the day. I just need to work on my computer. And I thought we would be home doing all that hours ago so and we've just got to, oh i can just hear like everything in the back sliding around and there's the sun we'll be right back we're going home all right here's a little sneak peek at what we got at costco but you got to stay tuned till tomorrow to see what else we got abby want to say hi yeah. okay yeah she doesn't want to say hi and we're gonna hurry and unload these groceries and well, then i've got to work on the computer so if you want to see this Costco haul, you'll have to check it out tomorrow. Sorry for the, you know, teaser, but we wanted to get an extra video in and make it more separate so that people could search for that instead of having to sort through family photos and all that kind of stuff that we did today. So let's get this all unloaded because I'm exhausted. I want to pull my hair up and I work on, want to work on the computer after we make dinner. So <laughs> you've been playing? You had a good time? Our kids were doing everything I wanted them to do on a summer day. They went and found their own friends. They played outside. What else did you do, Ashley? Um, we didn't really play outside well. A little. Uh, my and me just really stayed inside sometimes. But Chelsea and my and Ebba were outside. Yeah, they were playing um, four square and bump. Oh, that's fun. And then Kaylee is out with Evelyn and Abby and her friends are over at the park and they're just playing and they're playing some kind of a game. Anyway, so it's just, it's fun and it's, it's already like 7.30 and I've been working on the computer and I guess Jason fell asleep and he's starting to make dinner. We're going to make those um, Hawaiian sliders out of the Hawaiian rolls. You just do some honey mustard and ham and cheese and then you bake them and... Anyway, the edges get kind of crusty, and then it's a really good sandwich, but it's an easy dinner to make. And then we have fruit. Mom got some apples and grapes for dinner. Does that sound okay? Do you want a cheese sandwich instead of the cheese sliders? What do you want to do? And we need to get you antibiotics? Yes? Get your medicine? Okay. Go help daddy make dinner, okay? Can you go help daddy make dinner? Drinking my drink. Yeah. It's 10.30. And I forgot to edit this, or I forgot to end this vlog. Oh my gosh, it's so late. I have been working on the computer. Guys, guess what? If I can get all the videos edited up to today's video, I will be scheduled out two weeks. I'll be scheduled out beyond when the kids are in school. Which, guess what? That means that the day they go to school, I actually don't have to do very much. What? What, what? Why are you whispering? Because I'm whispering to them when I vlog. Do you want me to show yourself? No. Why are you whispering? I'm just being dramatic on the... Kaylee just got home from her friend's house. <laughs> Why are you Did you have a good day? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah. I should turn the camera around, but she would get mad at me and she's in a good mood, so. Your pictures, she did these cute pictures with Evelyn at the park and they were really cute. I liked them. Especially the one Ashley photobombed in the background. Yeah. That one would have been fun. Yeah, I know. She was totally in the background. <laughs> it's really, really cute. Anyway, we had a good day. I'm tired. I 
haven't kept makeup on this long in a really long time, you guys. Tomorrow we have no plans. Kaylee has plans, she has a birthday party for her friend. And I get to order my beds for Chelsea and Ashley. And my friend is gonna buy the bunk beds, but I, I don't really wanna jump the gun too much, but at the same time, I have Jason home tomorrow. And the beds will be here next week. So I kind of want to get their bunk beds taken down tomorrow. We will see. I don't know. I could just spend the whole day editing and get completely caught up. I could also just turn the camera on for Jason and have him take the bunk beds down. So we shall see if Jason wants to really like do me good. Maybe he'll take their beds down. They're not set up as bunk beds, but oh, you guys, I'm so tired. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go have a snack really quick and then I'm going to go to bed so I can get up early. I actually enjoyed getting up before the kids today. Jason did too. He said, we're going to set an alarm and get up early and start getting some stuff done so we don't start at like 11 o'clock in the afternoon, in the morning, whatever. Okay, take care. I'm rambling. It's been two and a half minutes. <laughs> Tired. Everyone else is in bed except Kaylee and Jason. So, good night guys.